In this video, I'm going to show you how to multiply two exponentiated numbers with the same base. The trick is that you just add the exponents. If you got x to the m times x to the n, then you just the result is x to the m plus n. So a more concrete example, like if you've got x to the third power times x to the fifth power, let's say, um, to get the result for that, that's just equal to x to the power of 3 plus 5. So that's really just x to the power of 8. Now the reason why this works is that x to the third, that's like three copies of x. 1, 2, 3. So that's three copies. And then x to the fifth, that's like five copies. So times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we just um, count how many copies in total are there. Well, there's eight copies in total. So it's just x to the eighth. Uh, you can also extend this to, to multiple uh, products in a row. So if you, if you have x squared times x to the seventh times, say, x to the fourth, then that's just x to the sum of all the exponents, 2 plus 7 plus 4. And that's just x to the 13th. Let's, let's do some examples. First example here, uh, we're going to have two different variables this time. So the way we simplify this product is we, we first have to group the variables. Let's get a with a. And we've got a squared times a to the third. And then let's also get b with b, so times b to the fifth times b to the fourth. And now we can go ahead and do that product rule for exponents because we have the same base here. So that's a to the 2 plus 3 and then b to the 5 plus 4. And the result is a to the fifth times b to the ninth. And that's it. That's the simplified form of that product. Here's the final example. It's a little bit trickier because now there's a third variable, an x, a y, and a z, but it's really just the same idea. We're going to group all the similar variables together. So x squared times x to the third, and then get the y's. There's y to the third, y to the ninth. And lastly, we pick up the z's, z to the fifth, and z to the fourth. And then we can go ahead and multiply each of these. So x squared times x to the third, you just add the exponents to x to the fifth, then y to the twelfth, and then z to the ninth. And that's it. That's the simplified form of that expression. In the future, we'll learn how to use the product rule for exponents to simplify even more complicated exponential expressions.